Well, welcome to Funk. My name's Chris. If you don't know me already, I'm a fitness instructor that teaches at gyms across Sheffield. And this is a functional fitness sort of weights and body weight class that I've designed specifically for YouTube so that if you can't make it to my classes in person, you can do this at home or in the gym or in a garden, wherever you've got space. Basically, you don't need very much. I have here two sets of dumbbells, a lighter pair, which for me are four kilos and a heavier pair, which are seven kilos. I'm here in the glorious Peak District where it's picking it down, so that's going to be fun. And we're going to start off with a warm up where we do lots and lots of different exercises. If any of this gets too much, too intense, any point, you can drop the weights entirely. You can do a lot of the same movements just with your body weight. In fact, quite a few of the tracks we'll do are just for body weight. Um, you can break this up, just do a bit of the class at once every now and again. I'll also be uploading this as separate videos uh, where it is broken down as just like one video for one track, one video for another track, in case you fancy that. For this warm-up, I'm going to be using my lighter dumbbells, the four kilo ones. You could even use a couple of tins, a couple of bags of sugar if you want to. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, everybody, to begin with, starting with those light dumbbells. Overhand grip, feet under hips in a nice little set position. We're going to hinge from the hips, 2-2 two, two deadlift. Down, down, up, up. So the aim of the deadlift is to have the back straight hinging from the hips, coming down to around the knee line. You don't have to be super precise. Make sure that the face goes down as you hinge, so the neck stays in line with the spine. Let the bum stick out a little bit to keep the back straight. Now we're going to change direction on this. Upright row, two and two. Elbows lead, weights come to lower chest. You want the shoulders and the elbows to be about level at the top of the range. Now we're going to keep this speed, but full range, slow clean and press. Up, jump under, slow push. Down, elbows over, slowly lower. So nice and smooth to begin with. Now focusing on the bottom half, single high pull. Pull. Option with the heel lift to get a little bit more power into it. Feel at the top of the range where it feels like the weights are floating. Then we can jump underneath. Single, clean and press. Up, push, down again. Make sure you get underneath the weight as you catch it. Option to sink into the legs a little bit more if you want a bit more burn. Ooh. Now we're going to move from the clean and press into the power press. Stay up this time. Push. Woo. We'll be seeing all these moves again later in the class. So it's nice to practice them in these early stages. Good. Up and hold. Now you might want to hold the weights in front of the collarbone. Drop one if you want. Feet just outside hips. Down, down, up, up. Nice easy squats to begin with. Now you're trying to bring the bum down to the knee line. Keeping the chest up. Elbows anywhere under the weight. Changing the tempo on this. Three and one. Down, 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 push. Aim to get the thighs parallel to the floor. Tempo's changing again. Drop and stop here. Down halt. Slowly rise. Woo! Now we're ready. Now I think we're ready for the full speed. Single squats here. Four. Now make sure when you get to the bottom of the range, you're driving out hard enough to be able to get up in time. These are quite forceful squats. At the top of the range, keep the knees soft. Get a little bit short of breath now, hopefully you are too. Now take that tempo to the triple pulse at the bottom. Three, two, one, again. Make sure you're still getting low in that range on those triple pulses. Gotta get those legs warm for the next track, trust me. And hold at the top. Grab your other weight if you put it down. Have a little shake off. Time for some arms. Zotman curl. Now you might not have seen this type of bicep curl before. It's palms up on the way up, palms down on the way down. Twist at the top and bottom. Oh, I'm a bit short of breath now. We'll be seeing more of this later. We're going to change this tempo. Fast up, down, slow. Up, twist, slowly down. The Zotman curl really emphasizes your grip strength. Feel a big engagement in the forearms, especially near the elbow. Overhead here. Down, down, up, and up. Bit of triceps just to finish off this warm up. 
Aim for the neckline, keep the elbows close to the head. Triple pulse in the middle. Three, two, one, again. Nice burn in the back of the arms. You want to keep the abs engaged, the back stays straight to do these extensions. Now we're going to finish off taking this to the hammer curl. Weights in front, hammer curl, triple pulse in the middle here. Three, two, one. Palms face together on the hammer curl. Middle of the wrench. And to finish off the warm up with three, two, one, done. Weights down. Shake off, you've got about 30 seconds till we begin the next one. Okay, we're about to do track two. This is the squat track. You can go sans weights entirely. It's still gonna be really hard. I'm gonna be holding one seven kilogram dumbbell in front of my collarbones, which is probably what I recommend or whatever you've got handy. Um, this track has four really long holds at the bottom of the range. And they're the thing that make it really, really hard. So if you need to, if you want an easier option, use any of those holds as optional breaks to shake your legs out and catch your breath before joining back in again. But if you can do all four of the holds, it's gonna make it really, really effective and it's going to help compound that pressure as it goes on and you'll be surprised how much of a leg workout you can get using relatively light weights. Okay, if you're using the weight, bend your knees to pick it up, hold it in front of your collarbones, don't throw it in your face like me. Starting in mid stance, feet just outside of hips, shoulders back and down. We're going to get used to the range to begin with. Super slow squat here. Four, three, two, one, slowly up, nice and deep, knees soft at the top, chest up, try and get the bump to the knee line, tempo change, three and one, down, 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 push, oh, it should feel pretty good to get low in that squat range, have a look from the side if you want, so feet are just a bit wider than the hips, ever so slightly toe out, aiming to get those thighs parallel to the floor as close as you can manage. Here comes the first of those holds before we are At the bottom of this next one, stop and hold. It's about 20 seconds long. It's good if you can focus on a point ahead of you. I've got a million lumen light in front of me so I can look at that and die. Stay strong. Just a few more seconds. Then we're going to pick up some speed. Slowly bring it to the top. Singles here. Down, up, down, up. It's a very fast single tempo, like we practiced in the warm up. You've got to drive into the floor before you even get to the bottom of the wrench. That forceful change of direction is going to really give you a deep engagement, even using this light weight. Ooh, tempo change. Double kicks. Down, halfway, down, and rise. Don't lock the knees out at the top. Keep the quads and glutes engaged. Oh, now the fire should be burning. What's the next level we take from the double pulse? Well, we're gonna try and stay low. Next time, continuous pulse. Down, halfway, down, halfway. Staying low, staying focused. You don't have to turn to face your side. Chest up. Here comes the more painful one. Stop and hold at the bottom here. Oh. Breathe. Focus. I'm here with you. We're all going through the same pain right now. Here's an easier section. Slowly bring it up. Heel toe wider. Wide stamp, super slow. Four, three, two, one. Really slow tempo, get deep into that wide squat. So feet are a bit further out, toes point a bit further out, knees go out a little bit wider. I feel it building again. Three, one, down, 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 push. Oh. Make sure the knees are soft at the top. Here comes the next one. Stop at the bottom here, halt. This is the penultimate halt. We've got one round of work left, it's only short. Deep breaths. Start to 
shape. Slowly bring it to the top. Singles here, go down, up. Oh. Forceful with that push. You want the contrast between the slow squats and the fast squats. Activating all different types of muscle fibers here. Getting close to the end. We're going straight in. Continuous pulse here. Down, halfway, down, halfway. Stay low. Stay focused. Stay determined. You chose to do this workout. You don't give up when you get to the last few seconds. Do you know what the next level of this is? Stay low. And we're going to step to each side. Left to begin. Left, middle, right, middle. Try and stay in that low position all the way through. Let the body weight move over that stepping foot. Now for the final time. Stop at the bottom and hold here. All the way to the end. Ten seconds. And release. Ah. Oh. Maybe don't drop that on your kitchen floor. Give it a shake. Legs should be burning. You can have a little quadricep stretch. Then fall over. Oh, hope you enjoyed that. Next up, we're gonna help loosen up the legs with a little bit of running. Okay, we just finished the squat track. Now we're gonna be legging it. So I'm gonna be running around this quarry. Uh, my lovely assistant is gonna to attempt to keep me in focus the whole time, but we'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna run with light so you can see where I am. This is a four minute running track. The aim of this is to loosen everything up, to burn up some of that lactate that we've built up in that squat track and elevate the heart rate so that it stays high when we go into the arm and ab track that we do after this. Okay, everyone, time to begin. Four minutes long, high-end aerobic effort running. I'm gonna be trying to run around this quarry, see if you can match my cadence. It's up to you if you wanna run around your garden, run on a treadmill, cycle on a bike, wherever you can manage that cardio effort. Okay, we're gonna start in Three, two, one, let's go. Now I've got a mic banging around on my back. That's gonna affect me a little bit. But your aim with this is to maintain about a 180 steps per minute cadence, which might be faster than taking shorter strides than you used to. So don't worry too much, but attempt to take those fascial strides best with manage. The higher aerobic effort we're aiming for should be difficult. It should be a bit hard to break through, but crucially, it is still aerobic. If you start to feel out of breath, then you need to ease off a little bit. You're trying to be at the top of that aerobic zone. It should not feel like you could talk, like I'm doing. Woo! And you shouldn't be running like I am on an off-road quarry section. <laughs> now I'll try and tell you, when we get to around the halfway point. Because if you're running in circles around a room right now, you probably want to change directions when we get to the halfway point. So, I'll try and let you know when that is. Now, as we've been moving for about a minute and a half now, you should know if you're going anaerobic or not. If you're feeling that breathlessness, ease off. Now we're getting to around the halfway point here. So, I'm going to ask you to change directions. I want you to ease off slowly here. Come to a stop, change direction, and go. Woo. We've got two minutes left. Same thing. Try and keep that fast turn over with the legs. This is not meant to be an anaerobic interval. This is just meant to be high end aerobic, breathing through it, elevating the heart rate, we're loosening up those legs. Oh, I should have worn my trail shoes for this.
We've got one minute to go. Remember, don't push yourself to your limit. I know if this was one of my spin classes, I'd probably be asking you to get to your limit by the end. But this is not that. This is not meant to be a pump interval. Just four minutes of high aerobic. Keep that pace up. You don't have to do that. We're almost there now. I'm going to try and get back to my starting spot. Oh, just a few more seconds. Talking through this, unlike what you're meant to be doing, just make it a bit harder. Ease off. Oh. Congratulations. Try to keep moving in one way or another. Step, shake, dance, whatever you want. We want this heart rate to stay high. So you've only got 30 seconds or less now until we begin the arm training. Get ready. Okay, welcome to our arm training. This is a really challenging combination track that uses both the biceps and the triceps. We'll be doing Zotman curls that we've practiced in the warm-up, tricep extensions overhead, also from the warm-up, and some tricep press-ups on the floor. You can use a mat or something soft for your knees if you need to, or you can use the floor. It moves quite fast, so try and get as many reps in as you can, but if it's your first time doing this class, then take it easy and be slow on the transitions. Okay, let's go. Okay, to begin with, overhead tricep extensions. Take a couple of dumbbells up, two, two. Down, down, up, and up. Now you want to aim to bring it all the way down to the neckline. These are pretty heavy, I might challenge a little bit. Keep the elbows in close to the head. Now, combination, triple pulse in the middle. Three, two, one. Now, smooth two, two, all the way down, and all the way up. Combination again, triple pulse, and smooth. Now fast transition to the front, 2-2, two, two, Zotman curl. Up, up, twist, down, down, twist. So remember this from the warm-up, if you did the warm-up. Make sure that the twist is isolated to the top and the bottom of the range. Elbows at the sides of the body. Good. Take a look from the side. So palms face down, on the way down. Feel it at the top of the forearms. Fast up, down, slow. Squeeze, twist, down, slow. That tempo change is going to emphasize the lower section of the descent. We're about to go overhead again. Do you remember that tricep combination? Take it up here. Triple pulse in the middle. Smooth, two, two. All the way down and all the way up. When you're doing these overhead extensions, keep the abs tight so the back can stay straight. I always lose my voice when I teach And in general, that's what years of instruction gives you. No throat. Oh, it's getting heavy now. Hope you're feeling it too. Challenge yourself. You get a bit of a refresher here. Weights back to the front. Two, two, Zotman. Curl here. Up, up, twist, down, down, twist. Deep breaths. Fast, up, down, slow. Up, twist, down. Now that burn's kicking in. Most people feel this when they're new to it in the top of the forearm where it joins the elbow. Hopefully you're noticing it too. Four more like this. We're about to get a change. There are tricep press-ups coming in this next section. You can use your knees, you can use your toes. One more time. Okay, come down to the floor. You can also use dumbbells to take some pressure away from your wrists if you want to by placing your hands on them. Narrow, super slow to begin. Elbows close to the body for a tricep press, not a normal chest press. Speed it up to singles. Remember, anytime you need to, drop to the knees or bring the knees even closer to put less weight through the arms. But don't let the elbows go to the side. Keep them in. Toes if you can. Four more. One more. Bring it up to your feet. We're taking it back to the Zotman curl. You ready? Up, up, twist, down, 
down twist. Oh, I feel that breeze washing over. It might just be for me. Arms are really sore. We're gonna change this tempo again, just like we did earlier. Fast up, down slow. Four. Now in the middle, hammer curl combo, triple pumps. Three, two, now smooth all the way up. Remember the hammer curl, palms face together, triple pulse again. So it's that same combo from before, and we're just doing it with the hammer curls. Last time, supersetting the biceps. Back to 2 2 Zotman curl. Up, up, twist, down, down, twist. If you're getting into this last set, and the arms are shaking, you're struggling to keep a grip of the weights, you're doing it right. Fast and slow. Up, twist, down. Ah. Oh. Especially on that descent. Really emphasizing the grip strength. It's one of the main differentiators between a functional training class and a normal one. A lot of this is going to be useful. Two more. Do you remember how we finished this? Get back on the floor here, just like earlier. Ready for the tricep press-ups. So same as before, use the dumbbells for your wrists if you want. Keep it close, super slow here. Four, three, two, one. Slowly up. Now singles all the way to the end. 17. Knees if you need to. I might have to after using these sevens all the way through. Come on, get that chest low. At least to elbow height, but floor's even better. See if you can do this last few on your toes. Here we go. Five. Four. Drop and stop. And rise. Oh, oh you can come into a child's pose, thankfully. We get to stay on the floor now as we transition into the abs. You can have a little stretch, arms out, twist backwards, move them around a little bit, twist both ways. Both internal and external rotation will help you stretch through the biceps, triceps if you want, elbow up and over, push the wrist back on the floor, any of those will do. Okay, time to move on. Okay, welcome to the ab track. This follows immediately from the arms, so hopefully you're still on the floor. Uh, this is where we're gonna be doing a series of hip bridges, leg extensions, planks, hovers, bicycle crunches. It's made up of four really intense intervals. Uh, a few of them have short breaks in between them, but there's a long break between the, fourth and uh, the third and fourth. So hopefully you'll be able to get to that anaerobic limit at the end of each round and then have a little chance to recover. This is definitely on the higher intensity side of what you might be used to with like an ab track in a class, but it's super effective and I think it's super fun. Okay, everyone, starting with a hip bridge. Bring the feet a little bit closer to the bum, ready to start pushing them up as high as you can. 2-2 two, two to begin. Up, up, down, down. Ooh. You get as high as you can manage. Get a good squeeze in the glutes. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Hips high off the ground. This first round's by far the easiest, but I want you to try and find as much intensity as you can. Tempo change, double pumps. Up, halfway, up and down. I love this tempo. So the fab track to 180 feet per minute on the base line. A little bit unusual if you're not used to this. You're going to get one hell of a workout. Do this every day. Guarantee 10 back. Don't sue me. Okay, keep the hips up. Stay here. We're going to walk the feet out and in. Really fast. Try to match this tempo. Hips up. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Step further to make it harder. Keep the hips high. Don't tap the heels. I see that all the time in the gym. Flat feet, put weight into it. Just a few more. And collapse. That's the easy route. Roll over to your front when you can. So, now, can I get these stones out of the way? We're in a hover position. Elbows and toes. At the very least, we're holding a 90 second hover. But there's gonna be options with the legs if you want it to be harder, and I know you want it to be harder. So, if you can, first option, tap to each side. Out, in, out, in. 
There's going to be four options in total with the legs. I've got a spider on my mat. <laughs> Get off my mat. Get onto the stones. <laughs> now, if this gets too hard, hold a static hover or come to the knees at any time. Next option if you want it, jack with the legs. We go out, in. Try to keep the body as straight as you can. Going from the shoulders, through the hips, to the ankles. Now, I don't have a mirror or anything, so I can't really check my own form here. But hopefully, you can see if it looks all right or not. We'll get to the halfway point. Next option with the legs. Double time step. Out, in, out, in. You can also make hovers easier by having the hands together. Harder by having them apart, so you Get a feel for the music. You should be getting towards breathlessness now. Last option if you want it. Double time jack. Out, in, out, in. Oh, there's only even muddy ground at my feet. So close to the end now. Ten more seconds. Take it easy for a bit. I say a bit, I mean 20 seconds. Next round, mountain climbers. You want to be in a plank position for this, which just means hands and toes. You can hold it static if you need to at any point, but we're going to try and do mountain climbers here. Pretty fast. We go in, out, in, out. Now, thankfully, this is a short round. So you're going to be feeling out of breath from that last track. That's fine, we all are. I want you to ride that edge of breathlessness. Not even edge, all the way in breathlessness. So we get to the end of this. You can go faster if you want. We're only here for 20 more seconds. Do, 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 do. Ten seconds. Long break coming after this. You should really need it now. And collapse. Oh, oh, oh. Everything's shaking. I was going to say the room's shaking. Does this count as a room? Okay, everyone. Third and oh, third, fourth and final round. Look at the state of this. Get onto your back. Bicycle crunch time. This is the fun one. One minute, 20 seconds. I'm going to demonstrate what the bicycle crunch looks like first. We don't have to join in yet. Fingertips temples, we twist and we extend. Elbow goes towards opposite knee, leg goes long and low. Now we're gonna try and do this about 5,000 times faster. Stay with me or go at half speed, but try to stay in some kind of sync with the music. It's fast and forceful, get a good twist on. Everyone, speed it up here. One, two, one, two. Now, if you're going for this speed, the aim is not full extension, as much as you can, but we want forceful twisting. That's what's really going to hit the obliques, keeping the shoulders up, get as much extension as you can manage. One third of the way. Keep breathing. You'll be feeling that breathlessness now. We ain't ever coming down. We'll be soon, because this is almost over. To help you with that extension, we're going to change the tempo a little bit here. Take it to a one-one-two. Fast, fast, hot. Fast, fast, hot. That fast, fast hold will give you a chance to further extend on that slow one. Think how good it's going to feel after this. Hang in there, 10 seconds. Fast, fast, hot, fast, fast, hot. And we're done, relax. Melt into the floor. Let the spiders crawl on your face. Oh, to have a good ab stretch. It might not look super flattering, but I want you to try and relax your stomach 
Breathe in really deep. Let your belly expand. Slowly exhale. Stretch fingertips and toes if you want. And then slowly bring it back up. Oh, okay. Coming up shouldn't be too hard after that. Heart rate's up, you shouldn't feel any faints. Time to move on to the next track. Okay, you've made it nearly all the way through. We're now on a penultimate working track. This is just what I call the jumping track. In this particular one, we're doing a move you might be familiar with, which is called a skater. A skater's done in loads of cardio classes, but we're gonna take it to quite an intense level here, and you can make this easier or harder by increasing the distance and the depth of your jumps. So we're basically just jumping from one leg to the other. I'm not, gonna have, I'm not gonna be able to be super aggressive here because I'm on uneven terrain, but you can go really deep into each one and explode out to the other, or you can take it easy and just do a gentle step. It's up to you, but hopefully you'll get into a rhythm with the music and you'll really enjoy it. This is both a cardio spike and a functional leg and ab strength training exercise. So, have fun. Okay, take a deep breath in, reset yourself physically and mentally. We're gonna start off jumping to the left and then to the right. Just one leg at a time, easy to begin with. Soften the knees, we go jump, jump. Now, ideally you want to look at a fixed point ahead. I do not have a fixed point ahead, so I'm going to might struggle with my balance a little bit, but try your best. So this is the practice section. I just want you to go from one leg to the other. Try your best to sink in as you land, so that you're going into a mini squat every time. I like to remember which way to do my hands by thinking that I'm trying to hit someone in the face who's behind me on each side. That might help you, it might not. Stay low as you can. Okay, hold it here, have a quick shake. Now, you might get familiar with our tempo. We're going to do three deep slow, three small fast. Left to begin. Slow, slow, slow. Fast, 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 slow. Get used to that tempo. We're going to be doing a lot of this. This set is about 75 seconds long before we get a little recovery. Make sure you're sinking low enough that it does make you feel short of breath. I'm feeling the cardiovascular effects of it now. Hit the ground with the beat. Chest up, hinge from the hips, agile, powerful. Almost there. Last time. Three, two, one, hold. Shake it out. You got a few seconds to recover. So, heart rate should be up. Check it. Take a few deep breaths, and then prepare to do that same thing again. Only difference is we're gonna start on the other side. So, have a little shake, get yourself ready. Okay, hopefully you've got your bearings back. Free slow, free fast, to the right to begin. Slow, slow. Fast, fast, fast. Feeling a little bit fresh after that break. Familiar with the tempo. Find a sync with the beat. there now feeling that breathlessness I missed that one I'm still there on last one three two one hop Oh, takes its toll. Don't worry if you mess up your steps like I do. Take a few seconds to shake your legs out. Have a little quadricep stretched. And then prepare for our final working track, 
which is called the power track. We'll be focusing on shoulders and back. I like to use both sets of dumbbells in this one. So using the heavier weights for the back exercises like deadlifts, dead rows, clean and presses, like we did in our warm up, and a lighter weight for shoulder exercises like side raises, side rotator raises. The shoulder sections for this are really challenging, especially if you've not strengthened the back of your shoulder, as we do have a lot of rotation work going on. So please use light weights if you need to. Anytime during this, switch out to the lighter ones, even if you need to use them for the back sections, it's all good. Okay, let's get going. We belong. Okay, grab your heavier dumbbells to begin with if you can. Starting with some back exercises. Feet under hips, take a big shoulder roll up, back and down. To begin with, super slow deadlift to begin here. Four, three, two, one, slowly rise. Nice and deep, hinge from the hips, chest up. Eyes go to the floor. Just keep it slow. Now we are going to go faster. Single dead row. Knees pull, knees stand. So knees soft, hinge from the hips. Because we're using dumbbells, you can twist as you pull. So the dumbbells face your thighs at the bottom and your hips at the top. One more song. That's all we got to do today. Give me a triple row. Three, two, one, again. Pressure's building now. I know you're ready to take it further. In the warm-up, we did loads of clean and presses. Hopefully that gave you good practice what we're about to do. Take a shoulder roll. Now single clean and press. Up, push, down, again. Make sure you lead with the elbows. Because we're using dumbbells, once again, you can twist on this move. So dumbbells face the body on the way up. Face the head on the press. Soften the knees. Next level's coming. Take a shoulder roll again here. Now power press. Stay up. Option to sink further into the legs. This power track can be done on its own. And it will give you a full body workout in just seven minutes or so. Open hold. This is where you might want to switch weights. Shoulder exercises. So I'm switching to four kilo dumbbells. Elbows to 90 degrees. To begin with, two, two side rows. Out, out, in, in. Nice deep breaths. This is the easy one. If it gets too tough from this point, you can come back to this 2 2 side raise rather than adding the rotations. Listen to the music. Don't be scared. Slow rotation. Out, up, down, in. Take a look from the side. So feel that rotation. Aim to get your arm up level with your face. One more song. Here's the hard part. Triple rotator pulse. Up, three, two, one, again. So notice that rotation is the lower half of it. You're trying to go from the point where your forearms parallel to the floor up to about the 45 degree mark. This is really gonna hit the back of the shoulder. If you're not used to this, you'll be feeling that burn now. Drop the weights if you need to. It's a nice breeze. I need it at this point. Hopefully we're all feeling the adrenaline. If you need more time to switch to your big weights, you can do it here if you're fast using one more. Here we go. Single clean and press. Go. Up. Push. Jump underneath it. Drive high. Oh, I feel that energy. Make sure you beat with the elbow at the start of the clean. Here we go, next level. Straight into power press. Oh. 
eight more. Open hot. Option to switch. You know the drill. Back to shoulders. 90 degree elbows. Two, two to the side. Should feel easy after that. Heart race up. Although this is hard, we're using much smaller muscles. So it's less cardiovascular intensive. You should be able to catch your breath during the shoulder section, even if the shoulders are really going to be hurting. Add the slow rotation. Out. Up. This may well be the hardest part of the entire class. We're doing these triples four more times. Huge burn. If you've done this in the gym with me, You'll be getting PTSD now. We're so close to the end. If you need that extra time to switch to your big weights, do it here. One more time if you can. All the way to the end. Grab the big weights. Single, clean, and press. Go. Yes. We got a big finish. There's nothing else to do after this track. Just a few glorious stretches. Stay in control. You know what's next? Power press! See if you can sink into it a bit. Eight more times! You ready to smash the kitchen floor? Up and hold! And done. Oh. How's the workout? I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I would say tonight, but you're probably not in a quarry doing this at 11 p.m. Have a shake off. Take an arm across. Have a little twist. Upper back stretch. Thankfully now though, we've got the proper stretches. So join me on the floor. Easy section. Congratulations, you made it to the stretches. This is just a few minutes of really nice stretches, starting in child's pose, so just come down to the floor when you can, and we'll begin. Okay, to begin with, find yourself into a nice child's pose. Knees wide, bum to heels. Reach your hands forwards. Sink down, head down. Nice deep breaths. Okay, bring the head up. We're moving into a cat stretch. Hands and no, knees. Head down, curve the back to the ceiling. Now cow stretch, arch the back to the floor, bring the head up. I'll show you from the side. Cat stretch again, back to the ceiling. Head down, over lies in the vertebrae. Cow stretch, stick the bum out, arch the back. Okay, now take your left leg in front, push the hips forwards, take the right arm up for the triceps, and lean a little bit to your left. In case you need to fit this classes, I didn't mirror all of these, so I know I'm doing the wrong set. Now bring the arm down, push the hips further forwards, Ooh. and swap sides. Right leg in front, hips push, left arm, Lean a bit to the right. A little extra hip push. Ooh. Then bend this 90 degrees. We're coming down to a hurdler stretch. So right leg 90 degrees in front, lean over it. You'll feel this primarily in the side of the right glutes. Switch sides. 
Left leg, 90 degrees again. Lean over. Now, push yourself up and slowly bring it to your feet. Grab your right foot. Ooh. Stand on the mat. Try not to let the wind knock you over. So. Now, swapping legs. Grab the left foot. You'll feel this mainly in the quadriceps, in the front of the thighs. Now, take that left foot behind the right. Reach over, side bend, look towards the ground. Swap sides. Right foot behind left. Reach over. Now, step in. Arms forwards. Upper back stretch. So, head down, head the back. And then reach as far towards the toes as you can manage. Keep the legs straight, nice big stretch. Slowly bring it up. Open the arms wide. Shoulders back and down, hands together behind. Pull down and away. And release. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this little intense session. I hope you enjoyed yourself. There'll be more of these classes coming. The plan is to do a new one every three months and you'll be seeing clips going up on their own as well. There are also gonna be spin classes. So if you want to do spin and or functional training, it'll all be up. So have a lovely rest of your day slash night slash weekend slash whatever you're doing. See you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.